Pebbled Bakers, Hawaiian butter mochi is a sweet treat that can be found all over the Hawaiian islands. You find it in bakeries and even people make it at home. It's really easy and it's absolutely delicious. It is a little bit different to the ice cream mochi that we made a few months back. This is more of a cake. However, the two similarities are it's made with the same sweet rice flour. So you get that lovely chewy texture. Now I had this recipe on biggerbolderbaking.com and we got so many great comments and amazing photos. And then I realized it didn't even have a video. So here I am right now making it for you. Let's get started. So this recipe kind of is all about the flour. It's what gives you that lovely chewy texture. Here I have mochiko sweet rice flour, also known as glutinous rice flour. This is what you need to make this recipe. Regular rice flour that you see in the supermarkets will not work. It needs to be sweet rice flour. So we need a box of this. I'm gonna put a link on my website of where you can buy this on Amazon. So just toss this into your bowl. So it makes for easy cleanup. Into this, we are going to add in our sugar. Now this is a lot of sugar, so you might want to look away. <laughs> it does make a really big batch, just so you know. And you only have kind of like small squares of it. A little bit of baking powder to help it rise. And then just roughly mix these ingredients together. Use a nice big bowl for mixing because it's a big batter. First, we're gonna put in our room temperature eggs. Now to mix up this recipe, I'm going to use an electric hand mixer for ease. However, you can totally make this recipe by hand using a hand whisk. So we're just gonna turn this on, start mixing in our eggs, and then we're going to add in the rest of our wet ingredients. Here goes in our coconut milk. The coconut milk is what gives it a kind of like that island flavor, makes it kind of tropical. And our milk, followed by a little bit of vanilla extract. Then just mix this up on like medium speed until it's nice and smooth. You'll notice the more that you mix this, it starts to get lovely and thick because rice flour is a thickener. So it's doing its job and it's what gives you that lovely chewy texture. It's one thing I love about mochi is that when you bite into it, it's just kind of like sticky. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're going to add in our room temperature butter and then just keep on mixing until your butter, it's pretty much fully combined. You might see a few little lumps, that's fine. Just keep on going. This is why I'm using machine, it's just kind of easier. Then make sure your butter's at room temperature. This is super important, otherwise you won't be able to get it to blend in. I leave mine out overnight. Okay, lovely, that's it. Really simple batter. Now we're gonna get this into our prepared pan. So here's a nine by 13 pan. It's been buttered and lined. Just go ahead and pour in your batter. You gotta make sure when you do a lot of baking to use a spatula to get every drop out of the bowl. Waste not, want not. This is a nice thin batter. So you don't have to like smooth it out or anything. That's it, let's get it into our oven. So bake your butter mochi at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 50 to 60 minutes. Now, while I have you here, I want to remind you that the Bold Baking Academy has started for this month, but you can still catch up. It is cheesecake month and we are going deep into cheesecake making. Baked cheesecakes, no baked cheesecakes. There's gonna be meringue and strawberries on top of one. It's getting crazy and absolutely delicious. For all this information, check out the description box below. Look at this, this pan is so heavy. It looks amazing and it smells so buttery. Look at all that butter just bubbling up there. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely delicious. I can't wait to cut it. However, you do have to wait until it cools down. So we're gonna set it over to the side here, let it chill, and then we're gonna slice it. When you're ready to cut them, get a nice big chopping knife. As you cut them, you will feel how chewy they are. You'll feel how thick that rice has gotten. Cut small slices because a little goes a long way. So look at that. Like I told you, it's a really big batter. So look how thick they are. And if you give them a little bit of a squeeze, they're really soft. This is why we use that sweet glutinous rice flour. And it's what gives it that iconic texture. Mmm. It's chewy. It's everything I love about mochi. You have that chew and that bite. You have a little bit of the hint of the coconut milk, who makes it kind of like tropical. You've got the vanilla and everything in there. It's absolutely delicious. It's a simple treat, but so satisfying. 
So the written recipe for this can be found on my website. And you know what? I actually have a recipe for brownie mochi also. So if you'd like to see a video on that, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you back here again really soon.